Easy. So a couple things real quick before we get started on Marketing Mondays. I've got a lot to share with you guys, especially about overwhelm and uh, making sure that you guys got a profitable business, especially while you're able to fire your boss and start making enough money to pay those bills. So real quick, React to Funnels. We just had our workshop. It was amazing. So make sure you are at the next one to get your funnel optimized. The next one's going to be coming up in May of 2020, okay, as the point of this recording the video. Uh, so May of 2020, how you get notified and how you get signed up for that event is head on over to uh, React funnels.com that's r-e-a-c-t-i-v-e -E, funnels with an s.com and my friends will get you a nice little badge become a commerce king as well and have a lot of fun doing it all right so make sure you do that let's get started for marketing mondays uh today because i have a lot to share with you guys so three big things three steps to really not only just you know firing your boss and making sure that you have enough to pay the bills but also overcoming overwhelm especially as we're entering into the first of the year so it's january your news feed's filling up of all these successes and everybody's like we're making so much money it's going crazy and you're left alone saying wow i am just overwhelmed because i got so many tasks at hand to do and i don't know where to start so i want to kind of help you guys uh, create a process and a plan for knowing where to start what tasks to complete and then how to get that overwhelm out of the, out of out of the picture so you are firing your boss so you are working from home and especially if you're working from home right now if you're working and you're self-employed fantastic congratulations we also get over overwhelmed right right as entrepreneurs we got a lot of things that we need to get done i want to show you the steps that i use on a daily basis to make sure that overwhelm is uh, is gone so a couple things uh that i do along with that i want to give you some example as well so here's the first one right is let's see what's the first one going to be uh, the first one is, is creating tasks, okay? So not only, so let's kind of go through the list. So first task is understanding what you're looking at on a daily basis. All right, we'll go over that one. And then knowing what tasks are at hand and then which ones, and then which tasks do you do first, right? So which ones are at hand? And then a lot of you guys on here have watched me talk about this one right here, which is called MTO. This is ch those changed my life right here. All these actually changed my life. So a lot of these are from mentors. A lot of these are from, from books. So a lot of things that are coming together and uh, making sense for you guys, okay? So let's start with the first one, which is uh, the daily basics, right? So what I like to do is just understand my daily routine. So what's going to be going on over this week, right? Am I at an event? Am I on vacation? Or am I getting to work, getting things done? And the other cool thing I want to share with you guys is you kind of start, are starting to see this shift in, in the news feeds where it used to be entrepreneurs work so hard, don't sleep, go crazy. And the new shift, if you've watched carefully, is, oh, you can get lots of sleep. Sleep is good for you. Uh, don't work 10 hours, work eight hours, spend time with family. So there's this big shift going on in the news feeds. And I want to kind of reiterate that with this as well and show you just kind of how I've always done my life. And, uh, and it is that, right? It is just pretty much an 8 to five jo 8, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. job and then family from the rest. When a lot of people visit us, they always talk about how we'd pretty much drop everything after five o'clock and then go home and spend time with the family. And I think that's a big, big reason for our success, right? Like that's why you are doing what you do, right? That's why you became self-employed. That's why you're wanting to become self-employed so you can spend more time with them versus, you know, the, the became an entrepreneur works 80 hours a week, right? You don't want that. Uh, what you want to do is work, work the same amount, uh, but make twice the amount. Okay. So daily basis. So the first thing I like to do is pretty much just schedule out my day. I learned this from a good friend of mine back when I was in college and I saw her do this one day when we were doing, when we were doing, um, our, our, our electrical engineering work. And it was really cool just to see her kind of space out her day and then assign tasks to the hours of that day. And I had never done that. Maybe you've never done that, but I got to tell you, it works and it's great because then it gives your mind focus and then like what tasks are at hand and what you need to get done during those a lot of times. You see a lot of us, we all have eight hours in the day, right? We all got 24 hours in the day. We got eight hour working days. And so what I want you to realize is how much time you spend scrolling, looking through Facebook, checking emails, scrolling through Facebook and being overwhelmed where you don't even know where to start versus actually getting the tasks done. So that's going to start here, daily tasks. So what I always like to do is I'll do this like once a week, maybe sometimes once a month, just to kind of go back and make sure everything's focused and, and in the right mindset. So I like to start my day uh, about 6 a.m. and I'll take it all the way till about 9 to 10 p.m., okay? So then what I do is I just kind of start jotting down uh, anywhere between a 15 minute interval to a 30 minute interval 
to a 60 minute interval. So we got 15 minute intervals, 30 minute and 60 minutes. So I will create like, uh, you know those line documents, those line notebooks that you tear out, you rip out, something like that. That makes it pretty simple. So 6 a.m. Uh, and then I'll go, you know, 15 minute sections and then I'll have a 7 a.m. 15 minute sections, 8 a.m. 15 minute sections, uh, 9 a.m. and all the way down to 9 p.m. So you have your, pretty much your 12, well, a little more of that, a little more than 12. Let's say, was that 14, 15 hour day? So then I want to break it out, okay? So then once you have this down, then you start filling in the lines. So what do you do? What are you, what are you doing between 6 a.m. and 6, 15 a.m.? For me, it's just trying to wake up. I'm not a morning person. Maybe you're not. Maybe you love morning. Maybe you're getting up earlier than that. Maybe you're going crazy at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. Or I've seen some guys <laughs> get up at 3 a.m., right? I don't know what time they're going to bed, but dang. So 6 a.m., I try to wake up. Uh, and that's about 15 minutes. That's me just kind of getting up and getting some coffee, just kind of turn on some lights and just kind of, you know, trying to wake up. Uh, from that point forward, I usually can wake up about in about 15, 15 minutes. That's a shot of espresso, by the way, Nespresso. I get those. So a shot of Nespresso. And then by that time, uh, 6.15, what I like to do is I like to get it in, which is the Bible. So 15 minutes with God is what I like to do there. So basically, it's five minutes read, five minutes of writing down, and then Jennifer usually joins me in that point, and we'll discuss, right, five minutes there. So 15 minutes. So that's usually from 6.15 uh, to 6.30. Then, of course, about 6.30 for me, uh, to 6.45, Liam gets up. So Liam's up about my little six-year-old. He's up at 6.45, so I got about 15 minutes. A uh, really cool uh, thing you guys should try out is Tony Robbins' power. So his little power exercise is like 30 days of just some really great mind-setting stuff. Like, it comes with a nice packet, and I can put it in the, the text. I, don't, I can't, I'm not thinking of the right name right now, but it's power something. Maybe you guys know in the comments. You guys probably done it. So if, the, if you're in the comments right now, put that in there. I'm, I'm, I'm missing the, uh, my phone's over there on Instagram, so... Give me the name of that. Uh, 6.30, 6.45, so that's what I'm doing. So as you can see, like I'm breaking down every pretty much 15 minutes to 30 minutes, just rescheduling my day. I want to show you something, though. How many of you guys, put in the comments, let me know, how many of you guys travel to and from your workplace, right? Do you work from home or are you going, you know, to an office building? Me, for me, I got to get out of the house, right? I go stir crazy. Uh, even though we are our own, our own bosses, we are our own entrepreneurs, I got to get out. I love being around other people. The energy just really helps me get through the day. Uh, so that's why I go to an office. So, but my office drive is about 30 to 35, 40 minutes to and from work. So that's what I want to show you something here real quick. Is this time that I'm traveling, I, uh, Liam gets picked up at the bus around 8. So 8 to 8.45 is usually when I'm arriving, maybe around 9 a.m. This time is drive time, okay? So a lot of people will just drive, right? I love from Tony Robbins, a little, little uh, sidekick over to him real quick, is he talks about net time, right? Non-existent time, which is basically showing you that you think that you don't have time to do be, be doing something, but you got time to be doing a different task. Maybe you're driving, that's great, but you can also listen to an audio book, right? You can listen, or maybe you have a YouTube uh, motivational thing playing in the background or something, or maybe you're making phone calls. Maybe you're in the middle of a meeting during that drive time. So I try to make the most out of that drive time, all right, with that about 40, 45 minutes. It's really important. The same thing when I come back. Now, of course, you have your work day. We're going to get into that right here, but this is our work day. So 9, 9 to 5, this is our work day. And th there needs to be planning that goes into the work day as well. And then, of course, you got the drop-off, which is getting home, getting, getting meals prepped, putting the kids to bed, getting them all you know, ready to rock and roll, and then, of course, starting the day all over again. Uh, my workouts are usually during the night. Like I said, I'm not really a, really a morning person, so I work out at night. Once the kids are at the bed, I'm usually working out around, oh, I don't know, 7.30, 8 o'clock. I'll do about an hour, hour and a half. Treadmill, get the treadmill in, <laughs> the elliptical, and that's me. That's, my, that's usually my, my schedule. So that's our daily basics right? So just kind of plot that out. What does your day look like on an everyday basis? And then what's your Saturday and Sundays look like? You know, maybe we'll spread out, maybe l relax a little bit more, maybe hang back. But what I like to do is make sure I'm focused on every minute of the day so I know exactly what I need to be doing, right? What are the tasks at hand? So that gives us our daily basics. That's one for the thing to cover today. Second are going to be your tasks at hand. How many guys are suffering some overwhelm right now, especially with the new year? right? It's the, uh, what is it? It says the 20th of the new year. So we're 20 days in, and this is when a lot of overwhelm usually sets in, 
right? You're looking at the last 20 days. What habits have you changed? Are you still going to the gym, right? Did you, did you follow your New, your New Year's resolutions? They, maybe you made them in December, but are you still, you know, continuing pushing forward through those? I don't know. You know. I don't. Let me know in the comments. But with that said, a lot of overwhelm happens because, again, we go back to those news feeds. We see people having success. We're like, man, what have I changed? What, how am I changing my habits? How am I changing who I am? Why do I keep doing the same things that I've been doing and not getting any results, right? So that really comes back to the tasks, completing tasks. So my friends, I'm showing you how to change your habits, how to change your daily habits, the things that you do every day so you can reach that success, so you can fire your boss, or that you, get, that you overcome the overwhelm and you understand what needs to be done so you have that profitable funnels, right? That profitable business. So task at hand. So here's what I like to do is before the day, so today's Monday, the prior day, that night, about, I don't know, it doesn't take much, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I go to, I use Notability, so it's an app on my iPad, which I use actually during these Marketing Mondays to kind of look over my notes. But I use uh, Notability to just kind of jot stuff down. It works on your laptop, works on your iPads, and works on your iPhones. So anytime that I get an idea, it goes underneath a folder, underneath a, um, a note. And inside those notes are extremely organized. You can search them via text, like it's amazing. You should go watch YouTube videos on Notability, it'll blow your mind. But anyways, I'll chop that down, and if I have an idea or a task that needs to get done, I put it in tomorrow's tasks, okay? So then what usually happens is a list unfolds, a list builds of tasks that need to be done. And I usually try to get around, you know, 10 tasks uh, for the next day, all right? So these are our tasks. So task number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, all right? So I list these out especially the night before. So I wanna know what tasks need to be done for the next day. What do I need to be accomplishing? So then what you wanna do is you look at those tasks, those 10 tasks, and you put a little checkbox by them or you rate them. So I'll put a little checkbox by these guys in Notability, it gives you a little checkbox circle, which is kinda cool, so you can check it off when you're done. So this shows you everything, and you guys might have a list of 20 things, you might have a list of 100 things, I don't know. I shoot for 10. So then once you have a checkbox, what I want you to do is take those 10 and figure out which three are mandatory. Which three of these boxes are mandatory and those are the three tasks you are going to concentrate and get done before you concentrate on the other seven, all right? So let's just say we rate this as number one task. Number two is the number one task. Number five is the second task and number six is the third. So here's my focal points, right? I know my day, my early day, I know my evening, but now I got my work day. So now we need to know how I'm gonna complete these tasks and how much time it takes. Maybe some of these are you know, real quick. Maybe it's five minutes, maybe it's 20 minutes. Maybe you gotta schedule a doctor's appointment. That needs to get done, right? That's priority number one. Let's get that done. Uh, maybe it's, you know, let's make some money. Maybe send out an automation and get a Facebook ad going. Whatever it is, right? What are those top three tasks that need to get done? And those are the ones you focus on that day. And once you get it done, you mark it off. You don't do anything else. Because as you know, it's a rotating door, your phone rings, text messages come in, uh, emails come in, so you get distracted, right? So that's why I like to try and go at three. So get those three done, and then, hey, celebrate, right? If you get those three done, congratulations, you got the three, da the three tasks done for today, and move on to the other ones, right? Just always got those backups, because you never wanna be sitting there being like, oh, what's the next thing I should be doing right today? So I look at these top three, get those done, mark those off, and then continue on, all right? Here's another cool thing. If you don't know how to rank them, here's a way to rank them, all right? Is which of these tasks make you money? Oh, well, I know two and three make me money. And this makes me money, this task number right here, number eight, and number three, that'll make me money, okay? So maybe number one was that doctor's appointment. So it's really not gonna make you money, but it's gonna make you healthier. Pretty cool, right? Maybe two is working out and going to the gym. That's mandatory. You do that every day. So I really wouldn't put it on the task list, right? You do it every day. It's a habit. What are the tasks that need to get done for the business? The other cool thing is which ones of these tasks can be delegated to somebody else? De <laughs> delegated. Delegated out. So can this task be delegated? Can the task that you are saying that need a need priority, priority be delegated, right? And if so, have someone do it and overlook it once they're done. Because this, this is how you multiply, this is how you scale. You can't scale without people. It takes a lot of people to scale, all right? 
So how do you delegate? What do you delegate? So then you should have a task of 10 of where you're needing your assistance, what can be delegated, because realistically those wipe out those tasks if you think about it. So what was, soon, what was uh, originally 10 tasks have now become maybe only four or five. How would you guys like to see an example? I'll show you, I'll show you an example of, of my uh, tasks that need to be getting done here. All right, so kind of walk you through of how I think about this stuff. So let me erase this and give you guys a real world example, okay? So you guys can walk through it with me. And then we're going to hit that MTO, which will change your life. How many of you guys want your lives changed today? I sure do. Okay, so my tasks. Here are my cry. All right, so maybe you guys have been watching me on Facebook. I've talked about, you know, doing a free content group. I've been asking, hey, what do you guys want to name it? If you got a great name, I'd love to hear it. I'm pulling you guys, so let me know what your name is for that group. And you never know, I might choose you. So now I know I need to create that Facebook group. So that's a big thing I need to go and do. All right, number two is, oh man, I have to put another test, uh, task out there. I need to write a book and get that done. I've got some ideas that I want to share with you guys, right? It's things that I've learned, share those with you. Uh, the next one is make a book funnel. Well, once I make the book, I got to get a book funnel up and running. So that's going to be rocking and rolling. I don't want to take too much time writing that book. I want to get it done. I got it dialed in. I need to make it and get it all writing done. And then, of course, build the funnel out. Okay. Uh, I, I know my sales team are saying, hey, we need booked calls. So that's going to be an email that goes out to our list, the TLC side. So I need to email my list for my sales team to get those guys uh, calls. Okay. So they're talking to you guys, seeing what your needs are, seeing how we can help. Uh, then I got an interview today. So we got an interview coming in for an assistant. So that's pretty cool. All right, got that one going. What else I got? Uh, oh, right now we're in the middle of scaling up. So I got to read my chapter. So we assign chapters. So I need to read my scaling up book. Love scaling up, right? Some of you guys love traction. That's a good book too. Uh, marketing automation. Uh, this one runs once, but this is a good one. So I need to get that going. So some of these are pretty big tasks. Other ones are pretty small tasks. Some of these are two-day, three-day tasks, right? Mar uh, let's see. Ooh, how about today? I need to create today's, what are we going to talk about today? So I need to do Marketing Monday topic. So I had to take time for that. And then, of course, we got to do live Marketing Mondays, right? I wouldn't be here without you guys. So we're always showing up for Marketing Mondays. I'm glad you guys are too. Appreciate you being here. Give me a little love for that. And then, of course, uh, well, unfortunately, over the weekend, my Facebook uh, account got disabled. How many of you guys love that? Oops, there went a marker. How many of you guys love that, right? When you get that good old Facebook red box of death coming in. So I got to get my Facebook account re-enabled. So they love me again. Re-enabled. All right, so those are my 10 tasks. Woo! Shoo! So those are pretty, uh, those are pretty deep, right? Okay, so then I sit back. All right, so I know these tasks are coming in. So I did this last night, Sunday night. I put my tasks together. I said, okay, here's all the things I need to get done tomorrow, which is a lot of stuff. Like there's probably no way that I'm going to get all these done, right? Absolutely no way. So then I look back, okay, what is, what is mandatory? What do I need to get done tomorrow? So of course I knew the marketing Mondays topic was big, uh, because that's priority number one for you guys. Cause if I don't do that, then I can't have live marketing Mondays. And I know that we are always here on Monday. So that's priority number two. So as you can see, two tasks are already taken up. And then of course, the fifth one, so, or the third one. So this is the one that I know I need to get done, which is a marketing automation, okay? So this is number three, is gonna be my marketing automation, because I know that's gonna bring in members to another business we got, which is really cool, okay? So yeah, appreciate it, appreciate the comments, appreciate you guys commenting on there, that's awesome. So here's the cool thing, is when we go into here, right, we have three tasks. So now I have task number one is topic, task number two is live marketing Mondays, and task number three is marketing automation. Now I know marketing automation will take me probably about 20 minutes to set up. So I got pretty much the rest of the day to rock and roll. So I'm gonna get three tasks done before even I would say maybe 12.30 today, Central Standard Time, which leaves me with some opportunity left, right? I can actually go and look at, okay, what's some other tasks I can probably get done and rate. So I got my three mandatory ones, gonna get those rock and rolling. And then the third or the fourth and the fifth, that I'm gonna get going. So I know my sales team really needs me, right? They got it going on, so I'm gonna write an email for them. I know that interview is gonna be big, so I wanted to get that done. That's coming later in this afternoon. And then of course, I can start writing on my book. Now here's one cool thing I want to show you guys as I kind of back up on this. 
is not only did I give you three tasks, right? Three, three big tasks, I completed those. How cool does it feel when you're able to check these off, right? That just feels good, especially for the OCD guys, right? How good does that feel? <laughs> you check that box off, you're like, completed something today. Feels good inside. So once we have this, all right, I wanna show you something else. Is this is me doing all these tasks, right? All 10 of these tasks have my name on it because I put my name on these tasks. However, I think both you and I can see that a lot of these things can be done by someone else. I can delegate a lot of this stuff out. So let's just look at how many of these tasks that I currently have on my list today, this is a real world example, can actually be delegated and will be. So create a Facebook group. Can I do that or can someone else do that? Pretty sure someone else can do that, right? So I'm gonna put a D right there for delegation. Write a book, well, that's gotta come from me. So that's something probably only I can do because of the book and the knowledge that I know I wanna give out. So that's probably gonna be me all day. A book funnel, holy smokes. Man, I gotta tell you, we've trained up some really great people around building funnels, so I can easily delegate that out, right? And what's cool about delegation is it means that I put it out to people, right? I can give it out to those guys. They can build it, but until it goes live, maybe I, maybe I review it. Maybe I just kind of look it over and say, hey, you know what? This needs to be changed. This needs to be tweaking. And that takes way less time than me starting with a blank canvas and trying to build the whole thing out, all right? Uh, email list to the sales team. I know that was a priority list for me, but man, I got to tell you, I know some great email marketers, right? I can reach out to them and say, hey, uh, man, I need an email going out today regarding some, some sales team stuff. Uh, for people who we want to help. Can you write that email for me and get it out? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So I can delegate that. That's pretty easy. So that no longer becomes a mandatory uh, task. It's now delegated. Interview. Man, do I need to be doing all the interviews? Or, does that, or can I train someone how to interview of someone I'm looking for? How to go and find those rock stars? Secondly, Maybe we do a second and third interview, right? They get through the test. So we have a lot of tests that they come in and take uh, before we actually you know, allow them to even work with us. So we make sure those tasks and tests are done, that they've actually passed those, that they actually kind of work with our environment, how fast paced we are, how things change, uh, it's crazy. And then from that point, maybe it's that's when I come in. So maybe I don't need to maybe do that first or second interview. I probably should be the third interview. So I can delegate that as well. Uh, reading scaling up, well, I gotta do that. But here, let me show you something. Remember this, remember this drive time right here? Remember that drive time? So this scaling up now became an audiobook, and I'm listening to scaling up on the way into work. All right, you see how that works? So basically I just took a task, ripped it out of my list and made it happen within my drive time where normally people are just driving, listening to, listen to music, maybe talking on their phone. I'm making things happen, right? I'm putting those things in my ears. So I'm using that time. Uh, marketing automation. Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's something that I want to handle because it's going out tomorrow. So I want to make sure that's ready to go. It's a six, it's a six day automation. I want to make sure it's in play the right way. And uh, that's going to need my assistance. Marketing Mondays, that's all me. Live Marketing Mondays, well, I don't think you guys would show up if, if it wasn't me. So I want to make sure you guys are showing up because of me and it's on my channel. I'm showing up. I want you guys to show up. So yes, that's all me. That cannot be delegated. Uh, Facebook re-enabled. Yes, I'm going to reach out to my agency. I have a Facebook agency that we use. All right, gonna reach out to those guys and say, hey, for some reason my Facebook account is disabled, I need you guys to get it back. So as you can see, I just took my whole list of 10 things and I really de delegated the entire thing out through a couple messengers, through a couple emails, and now I can work on other bigger things, bigger projects, maybe you know, putting together uh, connections of people or maybe mentors that I'm looking to hire or events that I'm looking to go to or speak at. So this is how we delegate down, all right? Does this make sense for you guys? This will, this will change your life, all right? This is how you start overcoming the overwhelm that you're experiencing January and you do three tasks at hand every single day and when you look back the last 30 days you will see 60 tasks that have completed or if you're just working those 20 days that's realistically what 60 yeah no that's, yeah two times three yeah that's 60 right even better so that's what's really cool that's why I love using this all right lastly let's get down to MTO you guys got this you guys take a screenshot of that all right because you want that that's big that's how you work through things All right, MTO. So real quickly, I know we're running out of time. Let me get to the MTO real quick. All right. So MTO stands for minimum. You guys already probably put it in the comments already for me. Minimum target and outrageous. Outrageous. Crazy. Let's put some explanation points on that. So minimum target outrageous. Okay. So here's how you can look at this. You can do this and use this for different types of things, but let's just use it for business for today. 
So what I want you to look at is, especially like where you're at, what you're on track for. Maybe it's on a monthly basis, maybe it's on a quarterly basis, but what is your minimum? What's your minimum income that you know? Is that revenue, is that profit? You can use whichever one you wanna use. You know the deal, right? You know what you need. So minimum, how much money do you need to be bringing in every single month to meet that minimum, right? To cover overhead, to cover employees, to cover staff, to cover bills. Like what is that minimum? What is that nut that you gotta hit, all right? Is it five grand, is it two grand, is it 10 grand, is it 30 grand, is it 100 grand, right? What is it? So that's your minimum, okay? We always set our end minimum for whatever our our nut is. So here is, I'll just put $5,000. This was was actually my numbers about seven years ago. So I put minimum, I was an insurance agent, I was making 60 grand a, uh, a year. So I knew minimum, I had to bring in $5,000 a month to be able to quit my job, but also to still pay my bills. Does that make sense to you guys? So quit my job, but also pay my bills. I need to bring in five grand. All right, profit. So then what's my target, right? What's the next level? What would you love to have? And my thing was is, well, if I'm currently making $60,000 in insurance and I'm making $60,000 now in, in e-commerce, well, that's 10 grand a month. But as you guys know, when you let one go, boop, you're back to where you started, right? So it's kind of hard to make that shift. So I said, man, in order to let my day job go and me to continue on this journey, I need to be making a target of 15 grand a month. That's what I wanted, $15,000 a month, okay? That's what I had to make. And then outrageous. What do you even choose for outrageous, right? Outrageous is outrageous, like beyond the moon outrageous, like never gonna happen in your eyes outrageous. Like if it happened... Something else, cra- like, the, like the world is doomed, like the moon turned ri- like uh, a different color, you know? That's outrageous. So what I put for outrageous at that time, seven years ago, was my outrageous was $60,000 a month. And let me tell you why. Because I had a reason. Because that $60,000 was what it took me a year to make an in insurance. It took a year, a year to make $60,000. And I said to myself, I said, if there's a way out there to make $60,000 in one month, then realistically, I can take a vacation for 11 months. Because how cool would that be is to make the same amount of money that it takes me a year to make in one month. That was my mindset, right? So that was my outrageous. And of course, over time, we battle through those. If you guys want to check it out, go to TreyLewellen.com. I have my entire MTO story on there. We go through a little bit this, uh, we go through the MTO a little deeper in the Unstoppable Course, uh, which is on TreyLewellen.com. So make sure you go there. Uh, But what you want to use this for is your own world, right? Your own self. And this is how it works. So you have your minimum. So choose your minimum, right? What is that? And then you work through your minimum, finding your target and your outrageous. And here's a really cool thing is you're always looking to hit your target. Okay. This is what you always have your eyes set on. Don't worry about the outrageous. Just look up and set yourself up for, for the target. Okay. Because here's the cool thing is it happens. And once you hit that target, you move everything down. So now your target, once you hit this, right, you hit that mark, maybe hit that $15,000 a month. Now your target becomes your minimum, your outrageous becomes your target, and you have a new outrageous. And that's how it works. It just rotates down because now you know what it takes to meet that target, right? So now that becomes your new minimum. And a really cool thing is you want to make sure that you're looking at the minimum target outrageous, your MTO, every single day. And how you do that? Just print it off. Print it off on a sheet. Put it in on your mirror so when you're brushing your teeth, you can say MTO, MTO, MTO in your head. Or maybe what I like to do is in your rearview mirror. So every time you look in your rearview mirror, right, you can see your future. You see MTO, so you just remember, oh, MTO, MTO. Or maybe you sc- uh, take, a, take a picture with your, with your iPhone and you put it as your screensaver. So then every time your phone rings or you look at your phone, you subconsciously see that MTO on your screen, that MTO, MTO. So you're always saying that to yourself. And my friends, you say it, mu- you say it enough, It'll come true, okay? Because your subconscious starts to believe it into consciousness, all right? My friends, thanks for coming and watching Marketing Mondays. We appreciate you guys showing up here, right? Share this with somebody. Share this message with someone who needs to hear it. I appreciate the likes, the love, and everything you guys give back because here we are giving back to you guys. So look forward to seeing you guys next week on Marketing Mondays Live at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're out. See you guys. Bye-bye.